Hi, I'm Aaron Goldie, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Exodus in-cabinet light. The first thing to do is install the in-cabinet light's 4C batteries. To do this, remove the two battery housing doors and plug in the batteries. This is specifically designed to be as easy as possible with no screws and no tools required. Put the batteries in, put the battery housing doors back in place, and we should be able to push the button on top to see the light turn on and off. This lets us know that it's working and we're ready to install the cabinet light. There are two mounting mechanisms included with the in-cabinet light. The first is this adhesive pad, which allows you to install the light without drilling any holes in your cabinet. To use the pad, attach it to the magnetic mounting plate, line it up inside your cabinet, and press it into place. The second way to install the light is with the included screws. These are especially useful if you're installing the light on the underside of something. When using the screws, the adhesive pad can still be helpful if you want to use it to hold the mounting plate in place while you work. With the screws in place, simply attach the rest of the light. Now with the installation complete, we can adjust the angle of the light source and place it directly where we want it to go. The in-cabinet light can operate in either automatic or manual mode, which you can select using the switch on the back under the mounting plate. In manual mode, pressing the button on the front will turn the light on, and it can remain on for up to 100 hours on fresh batteries. This makes it useful not only as a work light, but as an emergency power outage light as well. When you're done using it, hit the button again to turn it off. In automatic mode, the in-cabinet light turns itself on when this light sensor detects a rise in light levels from an open door. As long as the light level outside is even slightly higher than the light inside, it'll turn on. As you can see, the light turns on almost instantaneously, and will stay on for 20 seconds before shutting itself off. Of course, if you need more than 20 seconds of light, you can always hit the manual on-off button. When in automatic mode, a manual button press will turn the light on for an additional minute before it shuts itself off to conserve battery power. There are very few limitations on where the in-cabinet light can be used. In automatic mode, the light can be installed in any enclosed space like a cabinet, closet, cupboard, or pantry and when the door is opened, the light will turn on automatically. Put the cabinet light in manual mode, and you can install it virtually anywhere. If you need light somewhere in your home, garage, shop, or even your RV, but don't have an outlet, the Exodus in-cabinet light can do the job.